we've already seen that catalysts speed up the rate of reaction. A lot of students at A-level come in thinking that catalysts don't actually take part in the reaction. Well, if they didn't take part, they'd have to work by magic. So a catalyst is a substance that speeds up the rate of rea chemical reaction and can be recovered chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. So in other words, they do take part in the reaction, but what you start with, you get back at the end. We've got a demonstration that can show you this. Okay, from the GCSE, most people are aware that a catalyst is a substance that speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction. But what most people aren't aware of is that before a chemical reaction can occur, the particles must collide with a minimum force, known as the activation energy, to produce a chemical reaction. Now, we give the activation energy the symbol Ea. Now, if a catalyst is present, it provides an alternative path with a lower activation energy, which means that more particles, when they collide, will have sufficient energy to produce a reaction. If you look at this diagram, we can see that the blue curve represents the uncatalyzed pathway, and the red curve represents the catalyzed pathway. The activation energy for the catalyzed pathway is much lower than that for the uncatalyzed pathway, which means that more of the particles will have an energy greater than the activation energy, which results in a much quicker reaction. Okay, here in this demonstration we've got some sodium potassium tartrate, which is also known as Rochelle's salt. When you heat it up, and it's been heated up to around about 75 degrees Celsius, it starts to decompose and carbon dioxide is given off. It's only very slow, so you can see just a few bubbles coming off now, but not many. Here I've got some cobalt chloride, which is pink. Which is pink. Okay, I'm going to add that to the solution of the Rochelle salt now. You can see it's going green and there's a vigorous release of carbon dioxide. The reaction has ceased and it's gone back to going pink again. So what's actually happened is that the cobalt 2 plus ions have catalyzed the reaction and in the process they've turned into cold, green cobalt 3 plus and after the reaction is finished you get your catalyst back unchanged.